Fighting Coupon, the smart frame function from Bochu and a major update to Watson Steel 2 laser lineup. Today we are talking about all this and more. My name is Leo and this is the fifth episode of Watson News, where we bring you the latest developments and events in the world of CNC and laser technologies. Subscribe and leave a like so you don't miss the next episode. Bochu has introduced an update for their blt 6 Series H laser haircutting heads. These heads are designed for high power, up to 40 kW, so what's new? The auto smart frame function. Now the machine finds the edge of the material 270% faster. Thanks to smart frame, the machine can now also perform zero-point automatic correction check border counter. In other words, the system automatically adjusts and positions layouts on the remaining sheet after cutting. Other advantages of the BLT has, such as the creation protective plates, remain unchanged. GW has unveiled a new technology called anti-black reflection, designed to overcome the reflective of the material like copper and aluminum and prevent the damage to their laser source. The system features a four-level active defense mechanism. One of the elements is a high-precision reflective detector inside the head. It intercepts 90% of the reflected light. An intelligent protection mechanism is triggered to immediately block the beam pass preventing damage to the fiber optical cable and cutting head. This technology also allows for smooth and precise cutting on reflective metals. According to a GW representative, this solution was developed primarily for the power battery market in new energy vehicles, but it can be useful to anyone working with brass or copper. The technology is already implemented in GW welding system. Weihong has introduced a new control system the NK550M. This new system won the 2025 Machinery Industry Science and Technology Innovation Pilot Award in the Innovative Products category. It designed it for vertical and horizontal composite pentahedral machining centers, five-axis machining centers, multi-spindle and multi-channel systems. Key features include the high-speed trapezoidal HST algorithm, high-precision counter smooth HPCS, friction compensation, cross-channel micro-variable access, and many more. The company has not yet announced when this system will be available for order. Watson has prepared a major update to its CO2 laser machine lineup. Some models will receive a visual redesign, while others will be updated internally. Make sure to subscribe and stay updated so you don't miss the announcements. Two major exhibitions will take place in China this September. The first is Sign China, the largest event in advertising industry, attracting visitors from more than 145 countries and regions. The second, equally large, is CIFF, a transiting event in the home office and hotel furnishing sectors. Watson will participate in both exhibitions, bringing nine machines to Sign China seven machines to CIFF. We will be showcasing solutions tailored to each industry. Follow the updates on our website or Telegram channel. Hall and booth numbers will be published there. The opening ceremony of the GBT Laser Industry College has taken place. This is a joint initiative between GBT and the School of Intelligence Science and Engineering at Hubei National University. The school's director, Dun Zhu Yi, emphasized their main goal, promoting the integration of industry and education. They plan to conduct the joint research between the college and GPT, develop the training program for talented students, create an experimental basis for internship, and much more. According to Dun Zhu Yi, the college is set to become a major center for technological research. This was Watson News, bringing you the latest updates from the world of laser technologies and CNC machinery. Subscribe and leave a like so you don't miss the next episode. My name is Leo, see you next time.